Hey guys, get level here, and today we're gonna be talking about how you can use trends in order to grow your Twitch channel. I originally wanted to call this video uh, um, how to use YouTube trends, but the truth is it's not only YouTube trends, it's just internet trends in general. I wanna go over this because this is part of my series. I'm trying, if, as you know, I'm making a playlist of videos that are uh, particularly focused on strategies that you can use to really grow your channel, get more followers, grow a community as, as Twitch streamers love to say, and this is gonna be part of it. But before we get into, you know, the meat of the subject of how you can use the trends and stuff like that, I want to clarify a couple of things. There's there's this <laughs> there's this sentence that I see floating around, mostly small streamers um, on Twitter, saying that it's impossible to grow a Twitch channel without a YouTube channel. And I wanna go, before we get into the tips, I wanna go through why this is kind of true but mostly false <laughs> okay so i really want to get deep into that and then once we really get the mentality of of like the the right mentality that will enable us to grow then i'll give you the tips of hey okay now that you know this this is what you can do to actually grow okay enough blah 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 uh right before we start we're gonna say thanks to our sponsor and uh and then we'll get into it this portion of the video is sponsored by Owned. Owned is your one-stop shop for anything customizable that a YouTuber or a live streamer will need. You want a dope fully animated overlay pack? They got you. Some of the packs even include PSD files that you can really customize to your liking. You want separate assets such as offline images, webcam overlays, stinger transitions, alert designs, and alert sounds? They got you. You want to create custom emotes? Spend two minutes making a character that looks like you and then let Owned generate the rest. I told you, they got you. You want to create sub badges? They got you with their custom sub badge maker. Oh, what? You don't want to make anything? That's fine. They also have pre mades that you can select from. You want custom graphics for your Twitch channel points and rewards? They got you. You want bid badges? They got you. You want to make a dope profile picture? They got an avatar maker and a gaming logo maker. You want to make a channel trailer or a custom YouTube intro? They have a channel trailer maker. No need for editing at all. Oh, so you want a YouTube banner too? They got you. There's a lot of other things that they do, but I'll let you figure it out by going to own.gg slash gal level. That is own3d.gg slash gal level. Okay, so here's the main reason why I want to talk about um, this sentence first, like the idea of, hey, you can't grow a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel unless you have a YouTube channel. The reason why I want to talk about it, because it is it is mostly false. As I said, it's kind of true, but I'm going to explain why. The idea here is that it's impossible to grow exponentially. It's impossible to have like an enormous amount of traffic to your Twitch channel without putting out content on another platform. And the problem is that small streamers are asking, and I'm sorry if I'm using small streamers, but you guys use small streamers. It's a keyword and, and I tried using other things and you know, I don't rank up. So anyways, you know, the small streamers will would ask basically for Twitch to improve their discoverability. And it's not in Twitch's best interest to do that. Right now, the way the, the, the Twitch is set up is actually, not bad when it comes to discoverability. It's not bad for Twitch, for what it is. It's a live streaming website focused on live streaming. No, well, there's videos and stuff like that, but we all know you go to Twitch to watch live stream. Live streaming as a niche is not something that is shareable. It's not something that, you know, grandmas are sharing left and right on Facebook. This is <laughs> a great example. It's not something that goes viral and, and you're like, oh my God, I just watched this nine hour stream. I so can't wait to share it with my sister. No, this is live streaming. This is very particular. So it's hard to make a platform that has great discoverability as a live streaming platform because you can just suggest stuff like people have a small attention span and, and they, they're not just gonna stay and watch a four hour stream just to make their minds up. They're gonna stay five minutes in your stream. And something I want you to do, if you are one of those people asking, oh my God, I, I would blow up if there was more discoverability on this, it's, it's not true. What I want you to do is go to your channel and look at your channel views, okay? And look at your channel views and then compare that to your follows. The channel views are how many people literally clicked on your link. That thing that you're asking for people to do, you will see how many people clicked on your link. And then when you look at your followers, you will see how many people watched the stream and decided to come back. And 
honestly, that is something that you need to work on. You'll realize that the channel views is exponentially, is greatly, is, is really bigger than, than your, your number of followers, which is normal, by the way. A small percentage of people that actually watch you are going to follow you. But I need you to look at those two numbers just for the perspective of things that even if you had this discoverability, how many viewers would you be able to turn into loyal followers and regulars and all of that? Anyways, okay, so that's <laughs> so that's one thing. Now, to address the idea that you need a YouTube channel to grow, here's why it's kind of true. It's kind of true because if you have a YouTube channel that does well, it will possibly drive a lot of traffic to your Twitch channel. That is 100% true, but the thing that I don't want you to remember <laughs> the thing that I want that I want you to take from this is not no growth on Twitch unless YouTube. What I want you to take from this is no growth on Twitch if all I do is Twitch. You cannot become an enormous successful content creator by just being a live streamer on Twitch. That is the unfortunate truth. And again, I explained because live streaming is something particular. In order to grab people's attention, to keep them here sitting in your five to nine hour streams, it's difficult. It's more difficult than any other <laughs> platform. You're gonna watch a YouTube video that's like three minutes long. Someone's gonna send you a meme. You're gonna watch a Facebook video. People are gonna create shareable content on other platforms. And what I want you to take from this is that, oh, my Twitch channel may grow exponentially if I become a full, like, a, if I don't go, <laughs> how do I do this? How do I say this without cursing? <laughs> um, if I don't take half measures to become an actual content creator, and obviously, all the people that are watching this that just do Twitch as a hobby, I don't even know why you're watching this, but you're fine. You're good. Just do your thing. You're using Twitch as a hobby. It's a hobby. You shouldn't be crying for followers if it's a hobby, if you actually enjoy it, you know, but the people who really want to grow and they want all the subs and they want to go full time, they want to be partnered. They want that money. They want that fame and all of that. I'm talking to you. It's fine to want all of that, but you got to do the right thing. You can't put half measures and then expect full results. It doesn't work like that. The goal here is to truly embrace the idea that I'm maybe a live streamer, but if I want to make it anywhere near going full time and make it a career, I can't just be a live streamer. You can go on Twitch and stream 12 hours a day for years and just never make it past, I don't know, 100 subs. It, <laughs> and like, I'm saying that and I know people who have way lower number and have been streaming their butts off for way longer than that. Okay, so, all right, now that we have that mentality, uh, um, well, last thing that I really want to, I really want to emphasize on that point is that, so the idea of creating shareable content, what I really want to say is that YouTube is part of those things that you can do in order to drive traffic. YouTube is one of them because on YouTube, you need to create shareable content. If you were streaming the exact same thing that you're streaming on, on, on Twitch, if you were to put that, just upload your full VODs, on, on YouTube, you will realize that they also don't go too far. It's just the nature of live streams, okay? And even if the platform becomes shareable, even if Twitch was force feeding your streams to other people, you would still probably have the same amount of viewers, okay? That's just the reality that you need to, <laughs> you need to embrace, okay? Now, that being said, creating content on other platforms, the goal here is to create YouTube videos that people want to look at if, um, the reason why I say it's mostly wrong is also because YouTube is not the only platform. It's funny because everyone is like YouTube, YouTube, but you know, I've seen people grow their channel from being, I don't like saying this, the word nobody, but they were nobodies. And then they decided, Hey, I'm going to pick up a niche. I'm going to create content for just Twitter. I'm going to make Twitter videos that are short to the point, entertaining, visually appealing, shareable. And then they would put them out every single day. And when I say they're highly shareable, you know, it depends on your niche. Um, if it has to do with positivity, make like, hey, you, I believe in your inspirational stuff, but make it kind of funny, make it kind of quirky, blah, blah, blah. Those things get retweets like hot bread. You know hot, you know how hot bread gets retweets. <laughs> Anyways, so 
doing TikTok, for example, a platform that has a very favorable algorithm, even though right now it's less favorable than it was one year ago when I was telling everyone, hey, join TikTok, join TikTok, but nobody listens. Anyways, so the goal here, the thing that I want you to take from this is that being a live streamer is not sufficient. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Oh my God. What? Who would have thought that the secret was more hard work? Uh, <laughs> the secret is actually um, creating content that will drive more traffic to your main source. If live streaming is your main source, which it, to be fair, probably shouldn't be, but I can understand that if you want it, if you want it, what the heck? If you want it to be your main source, I get that. That's fine. But you really need to get to work and once you realize that and once you start putting in work you'll realize hey i am finally doing that one thing that was actually keeping me away from success and what is that oh improving myself instead of pointing fingers instead of being like oh uh, people are ruining this platform oh i just i just hit my table <laughs> people are ruining this platforms or oh, this type of streamer i don't like they're they're the ones that are ruining twitch and then um also twitch is not promoting small streamers as much as partners they should promote me 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 and then when you slow down and you actually you know think about it for a second you realize oh i'm the problem <laughs> This whole time you spent blaming everything else but yourself, you could have spent it improving. You could have been learning video editing. You could have been adopting a platform and creating shareable content on that platform that would drive traffic back to your Twitch. So at a certain point, if you really want to take this seriously, again, I'm not talking about you hobbyists always in my comments like, oh, I just want to stream games. Yeah, but why are you watching uh, Twitch strats to grow uh, to get more followers. If you enjoy your hobby, just enjoy your hobby. I understand that you want to be better, but don't come in my comments and tell me, hey, don't tell me to take this seriously. It's just a hobby. I'm, what are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, now that I crushed your soul completely, let's talk about the actual subject of the video, the trends, okay? And in my playlist, I made a bunch of videos uh, of different strats. Basically, I went with the clip strat. I think I talked about, um, what else did I talk? I don't, I don't even remember <laughs> what's in the playlist. But basically, I think I talk about all the known strats that are pretty much proven to work, that people have used, that I've seen people use, and that people used and talked about it and all of that. Um, and it's not necessarily strats that I've personally used, um, even though my first video was the, the, what it's the friendship strat, <laughs> the viewer game strat. And it, that's one that I used. Um, and it's not always strats that will apply to you. So that's your little disclaimer. Every advice is good. Not every advice applies to you. You need to make the difference. I don't know you anyways. So the whole trend thing, the reason why I talked about the whole YouTube thing, because it has to do with creating content. Unfortunately, it has to do with creating content for other platforms mostly you can jump on trends on twitch but this is most likely not going to drive a lot of traffic what would be a good example of jumping on trends on twitch straight on twitch um i would say a new game comes out and you start streaming it but the problem here is that if it's a highly anticipated game obviously all the big channels are going to be streaming it and everyone's going to be watching the big the big channels because that's what they're looking for if you're you intend to post certain types of youtube videos such as just the gameplay of you just you know you re-upload your vods or whatever to youtube it's the same thing people will look for shroud tim the tatman ninja and those people they will look for them playing the game most likely they will not discover you so how <laughs> how can you jump on those trends and when i'm talking about trends i'm talking about all sorts of trends but of course if you have a particular niche if you play video games for example and you want to stick to video games that's fine what's the mo what's the most highly anticipated video game coming out soon if you didn't if you didn't say cyberpunk you can leave now <laughs> But, you know, Cyberpunk is about to come out. Everyone is, is thinking like a consumer, which is, which is fine. You love video games, you're going to buy the game, you're going to play the game. But what you don't realize is that Cyberpunk could be the difference between your channel blowing up or, or, or just staying the way it is right now. Now, the question that you need to ask yourself is what type of content can someone who's not famous make and still be found on the internet? And... You know, for me personally, the most obvious an answer is educational content, educational content and then preview content. People are going to be uh, um, people are going to be 
typing cyberpunk gameplay, for example. That is for sure. And do they care who is showing the gameplay? Not really. They're not going to be looking at your clips. They're going to be looking at just gameplay. Hey, cyberpunk gameplay. So if you post cyberpunk gameplay in the beginning, it's not the most highly searched thing. But if you post cyberpunk gameplay in the beginning, like day one, you get the game, you post your gameplay, you might you know, stumble upon hot keywords. And in this case, I'm mostly talking about YouTube, which is reliant on keywords, right? Now, what's the second category in, to me, which is the top one is informative content. How to do this and that in cyberpunk, for example, right? And I'm talking about anything. The goal here is to upload content that will help you out with keywords, right? And how to in cyberpunk is going to be probably the hottest keyword over there. Apart from, you know, Ninja plays uh, cyberpunk, Shroud plays cyberpunk, you know, we're talking about discoverable content, discoverable keywords and informative stuff is going to be at the top there. And this is where you come in. I've seen people with like Apex Legends when Apex came out, people were making how to videos on Apex and it was stuff that was in the tutorial of the game and they were getting two to three million views. I'm talking 500 subscriber channels or less and then they blow up and then boom, now they have like 300,000 subscribers on YouTube, for example. Now, the same thing with informative content, if you format it in a way that it applies to like Twitter, for example, you make it less than one minute, you make it straight to the point, boom, 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 here's how to do that, that, that in cyberpunk. That's also pretty shareable content. There is a channel on YouTube called Defend the House that makes a, oh, just bit my lip there. That makes video game myth busters. So they go on Reddit, people ask questions and stuff like that, or people say, hey, I'm not sure you can do this or you can do that. They go in game, they test it, they record it, they post it, boom, a ton of views. And it's genuinely interesting to watch even when you don't play the game. So that's something that you can do. So informative content, uh, raw gameplay. I see that walkthroughs sometimes will work, but the, f the fact is you're most likely not going to be able to upload a walkthrough um, chapter by chapter, however the game is set up, uh, before everyone else. It might help you, you know, and it's like the lowest effort that you can do, but it, it, it might not work, you know, it may not work. And, and that is something you need to be prepared to. Other platforms, it's not always like that. It's not, oh, this is guaranteed to be viral. Nothing is ever guaranteed to be viral. Okay, so we have our educational content. We have the raw, you know, walkthrough gameplay and stuff like that. And then you have, uh, um, you know, glitches or references. Easter eggs is a good one too. You play the game, you finish the game, you compile every Easter egg. And you know what? You find any Easter egg in the game while you're playing it, Take a screenshot, post it on Twitter. Boom, that's a highly shareable content. That is possibly a viral tweet. Once, once you're done playing the game, you, you know, compile all the little Easter eggs that you find. You make a little video saying, hey, this is a reference to that. This is a... And then boom, you got it. Now, I'm talking about you playing the game because you're going to play the game. If you're not going to play the game, but you still want to get fault, it's... <laughs> It's not the same thing because you're, you're probably not as passionate as the people making the videos and, and that will show, but you could, <laughs> I don't recommend this, okay? You could straight up go on Reddit and compile a bunch of information and make videos off of that. You don't even need to, to you know, find the Easter eggs yourself. You don't even need to find the glitches or whatever is interesting and highly shareable about the game yourself. And... <laughs> Or would you be a fraud technically if the information turns out to be true? Not really, not really. But if you can handle it, do it. You know, I always say, hey, if, if you don't have any passion for something, but you can work and make it work for yourself, just do your thing. I'm not your dad. <laughs> you decide. But that is a thing. That is a real strategy. And my goal here is to talk about all the strategies uh, without leaving out anything, you know. So if you're that kind of person and you can do that, just do it. So, uh, compiling information, uh, even looking up tutorials. I've seen people just look up a tutorial and reword it and then re-upload it. Again, not advising you to do that, but that is a strategy that people do and it has proven to be working over and over again. So, it's out there. Just do what you will with that information. After doing that, after talking about 
you know, the raw gameplay, because I feel like this is most of my uh, audience. You guys just play games and, and yeah, <laughs> that's it. You play games and you want to be known for that. Um, there's other stuff. If you are talented, if you have a special talent, cosplaying, obviously you're going to blow up. Day one, the game comes out, you pick a character, you do like, people do what, what is called casual cosplay. You pick whatever uh, clothing that you have that kind of looks like it, like the character, you put it on, you take a picture, you post it on Twitter, post it on Instagram. That is potentially semi-viral um, tweets and content right there. Again, letting people know, hey, I stream, having your link in your bio and stuff like that this is how you drive traffic to your Twitch. If you do makeup, you should definitely be doing makeup that has to do with the current trend. This is how you hop on the bandwagon. For some reason, this has like a bad connotation, but this is what content creators do. We need to stay up, up to date. Imagine like still being on, 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 on old trends. Like what do you expect us to do? Anyways, <laughs> before I go on a rant on that, uh, if you do makeup, if you do art, obviously, if you draw, you paint, you whatever you do, you make freaking DIY Funko Pops. I'm talking to the high tier, highly skilled people right there. Um, another cool thing is making little parodies. If you do drawing animation, making little parodies, those are pretty much guaranteed to blow up on TikTok. On everyone will be like, oh yeah, that's that's really what happens in the game. Ha ha ha. Among Us, we've seen it. Apex Legends, there's those mini animations. There's those memes, YTPs. Like if you don't know what it is, like look it up. Um, on Overwatch, for, ex uh, for example, that really really blew up. Those are so many. There's so many things to do. Or you can come up and like this is where I'm gonna end this. But you can come up with your own concept. And I know that I hear that a lot. Basically. I hear a lot oh i stream on twitch regularly it's not going well i want to make content on youtube but i don't know what to do i want you to think about television for a, for, for a second okay television according if if you're not too young and if you never watch any tv shows well look up tv shows now is the time okay i want you to think about television a you know a platform a domain a, a specific niche that has been perfecting the art of entertainment for years for decades if not centuries <laughs> Think about television and think about concepts of TV shows, right? Remember when I mentioned that there was this Defend the House on YouTube that does video game Mythbusters. So you take your niche, video games, and then you put it with whatever it is, right? I have a friend, well, I have a friend. You all know Viking Trash. Viking Trash does housing and Elder Scrolls Online. She really puts in thought and, and work into houses <laughs> freaking castles really and a good idea if she were to make like youtube videos would be to make mtv cribs neso and that's the easy button of coming up with new concepts that are not just blatant hey come watch me rage at this game i just sit down and mumble and play this game while i look bored out of my mind but assuring you that i'm having the time of my it's time it's time you need to really grasp the idea of success, but not just like, I don't like to throw around the, the, the word success, but real growth, you know, exponential, like very important, huge growth, you know, imagine a hundred people inside your apartment, well, they probably wouldn't fit in here. But if you want that, you have to do what you have to do to get there. It's no longer a hobby. If you cannot enjoy streaming if you say it's a hobby if you cannot enjoy streaming with less than a hundred i don't think you you really enjoy streaming that much and i get it you may be competitive and stuff like that but one one thing that you need to realize is that there's a certain amount of of, of viewership that you're gonna that if you want to reach it you have to take it seriously no more half measures you can't just go live on twitch every day uh, for five hours and expect to have a thousand uh, um viewers at the end of the year it's just straight up not gonna work so lower viewership hobby do whatever you want and keep it if that's fine with you that's fine if that's not fine with you and you want more then i'm telling you what you have to do you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Anyways, this is more of a rambling video. This could be like a podcast, like a solo podcast or something. But here's how you can basically jump on trends. And in this case, I know I focused on the video games trend, but there's so many things out there. Just look up, for example, look up what makes shareable content. 
on Google. Straight up, read some articles and understand how what you post on social media platforms or other video platforms can uh, um, affect your main, I was gonna say business, but like your, your main source of, of, of content, your main, whatever, your main platform, your Twitch, for example. If you want traffic to your Twitch, see how posting certain types of tweets, certain types of TikToks, certain types of YouTube videos, certain types of Instagram photos or videos, can help you with that. I want to give a shout out to Dad's first time who tweeted my latest video. I always appreciate when you guys tweet my videos, retweet my videos. It really helps me out a lot. Of, of course, like, subscribe, and all of that. And if you're looking for some dope overlays for uh, your Twitch channel to look even better than it already looks, look at that. I'm throwing you little compliments. Uh, go to gumroad.com slash get level. I have a bunch of free overlay packs there you can revamp your whole channel without paying anything really um but i do accept donations though so if you want to do that too completely fine with me there's a couple of halloween stuff there's a cauldron tip jar made a video about that there's like three different halloween packs check them out and if you look top here you should see what youtube thinks is the best video that you should watch next and at the bottom of that you should see my latest video no matter when you're watching this so that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud. Get level, out.